attract someone's attention. Now a swatter, that's a real weapon. Dr. Mokrom, we'll fix you. Got it. are looking for you. So, what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible! Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented! Vadim! It's true! Don't listen to my brother! Someone needs to get rid of him! We need a new DJ for the radio! I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. All right, that's enough. Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we were just joking around a bit. <laughs> Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Beat it. I ain't your friend, Scout. <laughs> Vadim. Okay. Let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my dead beat brother. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. I'd be happy to help. Okay. So, Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> A bar fight. Ever been in one? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? How would something like that even work? It makes sense, I promise. I have contacts, people I can count on, real tough looking, but they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough, and Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? 
If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. All right, fine. You get cut as well. One hundred cops. I thought Travis was your friend. Isn't he worth more than that? Do not think I miss your attempt to manipulate me. Fine. Two hundred cops. Come on. A guy who owns a bar has to have plenty of cash lying around. Ah! This is extortion! Three hundred cops! No more! Now you will help? Eh, uh, it's too late today for me to arrange. Uh, you come back tomorrow evening after six o'clock, and everything will be ready. Do you have marvelous bone structure? Hey, pal. Uh, Damn hi. synths could be anywhere. Oh, wow. You're tall. Doctor? This better be an emergency. Not right now. Fine. Thank you. 
You keep an eye on that thing. I don't want to hear about anybody getting bit. Hey, that's it. Sir, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the sense. Oh, no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even... Ah, uh ha! You do want to talk about it. Ah, uh, oh, look. We have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear. If you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Biology lesson? That's right. Usually the kids from the schoolhouse are the first to drop by, but I don't see why I can't start the lesson with you. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but... Which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Gamma rays? That's right. Now, gamma rays are bad. Really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? What kinds of things have adapted to radiation? Oh, that's the perfect segue into the field trip portion of the lesson. Are you ready? 
field trip? That's right. You go out, do some science of your own, and come back. I usually have a prize for the best junior scientist, which I guess is just automatically going to you. What do you say? Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloatfly gland. You see, the oversized bloatfly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? I do a job. I get paid. Money? Oh. Um... How about, uh, 125 caps? We're talking hunting a giant mutated bug. There's risks. That would explain why some students don't come back. How about 150 caps? I need more. For science. Well, if it's for science, 200. Get the blowfly gland. Got it. Remember, bring the gland back in one piece. Oh, and don't chew on it. One of the students got horribly sick because of that mistake. Beer and my slippers after this shift. That's all I ask. I'm not supposed to talk to people I don't know. says not to talk to strangers.
leave me out. Don't touch the paint. Don't worry, I won't. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Reckon you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? What do you need done? You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint, and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? Only if you throw in some more money. Fine. Pay you 125 caps. I think you can do better than that. Driving a hard bargain, huh? 150 caps. Last chance. Make this worth my while or I walk. Can't be by the short hairs here. 200 caps. That's all I have. What can you tell me about Hardware Town? Raiders moved in a ways back. Security says they can't handle them. That's why I'm running low. So, you still up for it? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not Hi. There. Travis. I, I don't, I don't, uh, okay, I usually don't, this is why, this is why, this radio station, um, well, <laughs> well, uh, you'll notice there aren't any other ones, so, uh. Hey, Travis. Hey. I mean, I mean, I mean, hi, again, uh, hi, hi. not your enemy. They are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings under the oppression of their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. A legitimate businessman like myself always got to be hassled by city regulation, huh? It's a health hazard, Chang. It's a profit hazard, is what I say. I manage the water, and I'll do it without your interference. Thank you very much. Want to do something fun? Run the bases. Trust me. Hi there. Can't talk now. Some other time.
You're getting pretty chummy with that reporter, huh? Vadim. Drinks! The finest liquor moonshiners can brew, right here. Gonna pass. That's too bad. Need a room? Here's your caps. You're in room two. Just through the door. 